My pedal board is a mess. So I tend to go through phases of using lots of pedals and being really excited about pedals and being really inspired about pedals. And other times I just use hardly any pedals, if any at all, maybe one or two, that's it. And at the moment, I'm not really using them that much. Um, I guess it's one of the moments of me not using as many pedals. But today I thought I'd ask the question, do acoustic guitarists really need pedals? And the quick and short answer is, well, no, we don't, because we play acoustic and we don't really need pickups. And if we don't need pickups, we don't need pedals. I mean, really, electric guitarists don't even need pedals. You could go directly into the amp and some electric guitarists do, and it sounds great. Acoustic guitars, really, all we need to do is mic them up. So all we really need is a microphone if we want to record or make our instruments louder. However, if you do use just a microphone on stage, then you do have some limitations there just because of the live situation. You can't have low end frequencies coming through because you'll get all kinds of feedback problems. So uh, there are limitations when you just use a microphone. So this is where pickups come in and then you can use the pedals to enhance the sound of those pickups. I actually use a microphone on stage as well as a pickup and I'm able to do that because I sit down and play so I'm not moving around or anything like that. Um, but if you are moving around then you can always use these tiny microphones that go inside the guitar and there's lots of other options as well if you want to use just an external microphone then you can get these ones that kind of clamp onto the guitar themselves and it's a little boom mic there's all kinds of options out there so you can use a microphone on stage that's not a problem i would just recommend that you combine that with some kind of pickup to get the optimal kind of sound live on stage so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to take all of these off and sort all this out because this is a complete mess um, and I'm gonna kind of go through it and reconfigure things and just talk about the pedals that I have and what I use them for. <coughs> okay, so first off we'll talk about the board. This is a homemade board. It's got this little shelf, which is really nice. And you can kind of open it up and uh, get access to underneath. Um, and I made sort of a gap here. So I can put pedals here that I don't need to actually touch, you know, they, so they can kind of rest there and stay there. Uh, and some underneath as well, you know, because there's a few that I just leave and I set and I forget and I don't touch. And obviously the ones that go on top and at the front here, um, I would need access to. Um, but because it's all Velcro, it sticks. And so I can kind of lift it up and get access to things when I need to. And the pedals don't go flying off or anything like that. If you want a bit more of a detailed explanation about how I went about building this pedal board, then let me know in the comments below. First off, we're going into this preamp and it's a Tonebone PZ Deluxe. I did a video on this uh, recently. So it has kind of everything you need for a preamp, um, basic EQing, it has a low cut filter, which is very nice and it has uh, phase switches and a mute button and a boost button as well which is very useful so it's just a very nice handy little neat preamp so that's going first on the board then we've got a polytune tc electronic polytune uh, this is really nice little chromatic tuner i have that kind of next to the Preamp, we're gonna put that there. So next we're gonna go for the Para EQ by Empress FX. And this is a really nice uh, parametric EQ. There's not too many parametric EQ pedals out there. So that goes on the board next. Next up we have the Strymon Blue Sky. This is a very, very nice reverb 
pedal. This to me has everything you could want out of a reverb pedal, all the way from a very subtle, natural sounding reverb, all the way to a huge cathedral-like ambient sounding reverb and everything in between. So that's gonna go up here. And this is the Echo One Digital Delay by Electro Harmonics. I used it more with my lap steel, electric lap steel, um, but I haven't really used it that much with my acoustic, but I'd like to experiment a little more with using it. So we're gonna put it on, and I'm gonna put it right here next to the blue sky. Hall of Fame MIDI by TC Electronic. This is another really nice tiny reverb pedal. We're gonna pop that on the top here. Then we have another Parrot EQ by Empress FX, just in case we need it. I probably won't need it, but just in case, I'm just gonna pop it on the board in case I wanna do a little bit more tweaking on the EQ later down in the signal chain. Lastly, I have the power, which is MXR DC Brick. So we're gonna have that, and we're gonna pop that just underneath here, out of sight. And then we've just got some mute and switch pedals here. This is actually a homemade switch pedal that I made. And this is just a, a mute pedal. Um, we're not probably not going to use this. I'm just going to put these kind of at the back. And uh, if I need them, then I can always kind of grab them if needs be. But I'm going to hook everything up and then we're going to have a listen to how it sounds. All right, so now I've got a few things hooked up. Uh, I've got the preamp plugged in, uh, and then the, the polytune is going from the, the tuner output from the radial preamp. And then on the main output, um, I've got next going into the uh, parametric EQ by Empress FX. And then I've just got that going through into the Strymon Blue Sky reverb pedal. So we'll start with the radial here, the preamp. It definitely has this piezo sound, you know, even though it's a really nice pickup. It's actually a, a K and K pure mini pickup. I should have mentioned that. This is like the basic first EQ that I do. The mid frequencies, I can what I do is I turn them up quite a bit. And then with the parametric style knob there, I can kind of sweep through and find the problematic frequencies that I don't like that much. Like this. It's these, these harsh frequencies that I'm looking for. And then I just turn it down. When I perform, I always add the microphone so I don't worry too much about the high ends and the acoustic kind of sound because I know the microphone will kind of sort out that. Next up is the Empress FX Para EQ. So what I'm looking for is frequencies that I don't like. So I'm just gonna sweep through and I'm gonna look out for those frequencies and then I'm just gonna turn it down. And so if I get rid of the frequencies that I don't like, then hopefully I'm left with frequencies that I do like. <laughs> And then lastly, we have the Blue Sky Reverb pedal. So we're just gonna turn that on now. What I like about this reverb pedal is that it has low damp, which is the low frequencies, and then it has high damp, which is gives me all the high frequencies in the reverb. So it doesn't affect the, the original sound, it only affects the, the wet sound, the, the reverb itself. So that's quite high reverb and I just turn that down. That's a lot more, that's a lot lower. I like, I like the reverb to be very low in the frequency range.
So now we're going to experiment a little bit more and I'm going to introduce a volume pedal and we're going to use the, the tuner output of the preamp and we're actually going to, going to run a separate signal. So we're going to have a, a separate channel running through and we're going to put some other f effects through this separate channel with the volume pedal and then we're going to kind of experiment with more kind of ambient sounds and kind of bring them in and out with the volume pedal. So what I've done now is I've taken the tuner output going into the polytune chromatic tuner and then out into the electroharmonics number one echo digital delay and then into the Hall of Fame mini reverb pedal by TC Electronic and then it's going into a volume pedal and this is the Layla mono volume pedal. It basically doesn't use a pot or anything like this. It uses a magnet and a sensor. So that makes it really, really precise. And especially for doing something like this, um, it just makes it really, really nice to use. Uh, so I'm not really using it as a volume. Well, I am, but I'm using it as a volume pedal for these extra effects on top. So I'm using it a bit like an expression pedal. <laughs> So I'm trying to use it as almost uh, to, to, to emphasize the dynamics. Um, I think that kind of, that can work, um, you know, and this, I don't have to use a delay pedal. And just in this instance, I'm using a delay pedal with this, you know, um, but I can put whatever I want on it. And this could be really cool to experiment with different sounds and different effects, bringing them in and out uh, when, when I feel like the moment is right. Um, so yeah, this could be really cool. Um, I quite enjoy it, experimenting around. I don't know how much I would use this in a practical way. Um, I just have to try and see, you know, but it's really fun to experiment with this stuff. Now I think we'll try, what I might do is I might try and add a, my microphone to this whole setup. Uh, and then you can hear how that microphone adds to the overall sound. The microphone I'm using is the Neumann KM184 um, cardioid small diaphragm condenser. Thank you. 
So there you have it. Do acoustic guitarists need pedals? No, no, we don't, not at all. But it is really fun experimenting around with the sounds and blending the pickups with the microphones and seeing what sounds you can create is just endless and it's so much fun doing this. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it inspired you in some way. Let me know in the comments below what pedals you use with your acoustic guitars. And if you enjoyed this, then click on the screen now and you'll see one of my videos where I go into more depth about one of these pedals. Thank you so much and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you.